To this video I want to show you how to install Docker on your single board computer. We are going to use Arbian as a base but you can use any distro you want like BreadOS, Arch or whatever. In this case I'm going to use an IndieDroid Nova but you can use it in a Raspberry Pi, an Orange Pi, an Amazon Seed 7 or whatever you want. So we are going to start by following this guide. I will leave the link to this guide in the description of the video. So we are going to just copy and paste the commands. First we need to update and upgrade the distro. For that we have to open a terminal and let's run the following command let's write the password for the user and we just need to wait a few seconds if you are in arch or in BreadOS, you have to use the following command but we are in debian basically in Arbian, so we just need to do the command that we have just run now we are going to continue with the page let's copy this command and let's paste it in the terminal we have to wait a few minutes once it has finished you should see this message and we have to add our user to the docker group for that we have to copy this check first that the user variable exists with this command this should be our username so we can do the following command and now we're going to try to run the first docker the hello world as you can see it seems that we don't have permissions let's run it with sudo and we can see that we have an error message if you don't have this error don't worry just continue with the video but if you find this i will show you how to fix it to fix it i found that the problem in my case was related to the network controller so we are going to just copy and paste this command i will leave this link also in the description of the video in case you find the same problem as me so let's copy this let's paste it in the terminal and we can see that the demo has completed the initialization and we have the api listening here so just hit enter and you will see again the terminal and let's run again the hello world in this case we see that we have been able to run docker successfully so now we are going to install portainer portainer is a web page that will allow us to handle the docker images way more easy so let's install this so to install portainer we can follow this tutorial again i will leave the link in the description of this video we have installed already docker so we just need to copy the following command this one this command will download the portainer image so let's run the command and once we have downloaded the docker image we have to run it so we can just copy this command this will run portainer in the port 9000 you can change this if you want but i will leave this by default so just paste the command and once we have the command run and now we can go to localhost and the port 9000 in the web page we have to set a password admin so let's write our password and click on create the user in case you have already an installation you can restore it from a backup but in our case we don't have any so just let's click here this is the main page from portainer so just let's click on home and we can see here our local environment so click on it and here we can see that we have the images we have pulled we have the hello world and we have the portainer image if we go to containers we will see this one is running and this one is not because this was the hello world if you want to start a container you can just select it and click on start but in this case for example the hello world container just shows some text so there is no need so we are going to remove it once we have portainer installed we can run anything we want so we are going to install nextcloud nextcloud is a cloud that you can host in your own computer you can upload files you can share them or you can do whatever you want like google drive but in your own computer so we are going to install this so to install nextcloud we are going to follow this this is for a raspberry but as i said basically you can run this in any single board computer so we are going to follow the steps from this point we have to install docker compose first let's copy this and let's install the package now we are going to install a proxy so we can easily handle the connection to the web page because nextcloud is going to be basically a web server with a lot of functionality so the next step is creating the engines proxy manager so we are going to copy this command paste them into the terminal we have to run this command with sudo and now we can continue we are going to create a file called docker compose.yaml so let's write nano and the name of the file and copy all this just paste it here control o and enter control x and enter to save and exit and we are going to create the container from this image so as you can see we have this docker compose jammer so if we run this command we will create a new container from this file and remember to run all the docker commands with sudo as you can see we are downloading all the images needed so we have to wait until everything is downloaded and installed if we take a look in portainer we can see that we have the reverse proxy 
So we have to continue with this. As it is indicated, we have to go to localhost and the port 81, and we have to login. The first login is the one that we have here, and after the first login, we can change the information provided here. So let's change everything, and let's set the password. The current password is change me, and now we are going to write the new password. With this, we have set our passwords for the ng proxy manager. So let's continue with the tutorial. Now we have to create the next cloud image. So let's copy again everything. Now we have to create again a Docker Compose. So let's do the same. Docker nano and the name of the file. Copy this and paste. Control O, Control X to save an exit. After the installation to see that everything is running fine, you can take a look here and modify whatever you need. But for now, let's build this container and remember to run it with sudo. Again, when this finished, we can check in the container that everything is set up and running. So let's continue with the tutorial. If you have a domain and want to install the SSL certificate, I recommend you checking this part. But to keep the tutorial as short and simple as possible, we are going to do this just with localhost and without SSL certificates. But if you are interested, let a comment in the video, so I will show you how to have a free domain and open this to the internet. So let's go to the proxy, let's go to host and let's create a new entry. So in the proxy manager, we are going to click on host, proxy hosts, add a proxy host and here we can write localhost and here we have to write this part. As you can see, here we have the Nextcloud app domain so let's put this here and the port 80 click on save and now if we go to localhost we see the Nextcloud login page so let's create a new user and a password now just click on the button and here we can see all the applications that are going to be installed by default you can select one of the applications you can select all just depend on you but i'm going to select everything so with this we have our own cloud so if we close everything you can go to files and here there are some documents by default you have some pdfs some readme for example let's open this readme and you can modify this on the cloud but this is hosted on your own computer also you can see the pdfs in the web browser you can see some videos and basically this is all the files part but you can see that here we have other things we have the calendar you can sync this with other accounts you have your notes and as you can see here you can download the world play or the f droid applications or even the ios app in case you have an iphone and you can manage everything from your mobile device but you have to open this to the internet and as you can see we also have the photos part so you can back up all your data and this is basically like google drive but in your own computer and this is free you can attach all the hard drives you want you can have for example 100 terabytes just for your data so i hope you like the video don't forget to share like and subscribe and leave in the comments if you want other projects like this or if you want me to show you how to have a free domain and how to open your applications to the internet so you can use this anywhere you are